A soldier who had his arm blown off by a grenade in Afghanistan has become the first person in the UK to receive a mind-controlled prosthetic limb. It's worked by, I went in for an operation, it was up to, it was two years ago in January, and I went to Vienna for this operation, and the professor there actually rerouted my nervous system, which would normally supply my right-hand side of my body, into my pec muscle. So now when I think about doing a movement, the nervous system actually tells the pec what to do instead of the arm. But in turn, the pec, when it moves, so the muscle will move about in me in my chest, it'll hit sensors within the prosthetic arm in the top and send a signal down to whichever part of the arm you want to work. So if I think about moving my elbow, my elbow will come up. If I think about it going down, it'll go down. And obviously, it's vice versa with your hand, open and close. It's, it just works ever so naturally off thought, which is very weird. Um, I can pour water, I could um, open jars, um, and cans of beer, if you want to, you know. It's, uh, but they come up to Christmas, it's always a good, uh, good one to do. So, I mean, it's anything I can do, but now I'm... My main hand is obviously my left hand, so my right arm is now just a support arm. So this will do all the work whilst this will just support. The revolutionary surgery, which was carried out at the Medical University of Vienna, has been hailed as the future of prosthetic recovery.